Hey everyone, welcome back to Cyber Grey Matter. I'd like to thank everyone for subscribing and leaving a like on previous videos. In today's video, we're going to be going over some Operation Technology Security Architecture, specifically ICS and SCADA, which is Infrastructure Security. Think the Power Grid and Vaccine Manufacturer. By the end of this video, you'll have a better understanding of what ICS and SCADA is, what's included, and some interesting challenges of the industry. Let's jump right into it. So what is ICS SCADA? ICS stands for Industrial Control System, and it generally refers to the control systems with industrial automation. And SCADA stands for Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition, which is a type of ICS. When we talk about industrial control systems, we're typically referring to systems that are traditionally covered long distance and include gas, power, and water distribution. Let's break down how these fit together and the differences between ICS and SCADA. You may have heard of IT, which is information technology. Well, ICS is a part of OT security, and that's operation technology. These are systems that manage industrial operations, and ICS is a major subset within the OT sector, and SCADA is a subset of ICS. So SCADA is specific to ICS, as ICS is managed by SCADA systems and refers to the hardware and software systems that organizations use to control these industrial processes. SCADA provides a graphical user interface for operations and allows for easy observation of the status of that system. Users will also receive alarms and can easily make adjustments to make sure that the processes are under control. Let's talk about the components of SCADA systems. An example of the important measurement components are sensors and actuators, which work together as the sensor receives a signal and the actuator performs an action. Essentially, these are sensors that report data to the controller and adjust based on the programming. Think of a thermostat as an example of a simple control system. Its main purpose is to monitor the temperature in a space and then turns on a heating or cooling device to maintain a desired temperature. Local supervisory systems are systems that operate, monitor, and control the physical processes. They use Windows OS, but often simpler touchscreen systems. Management systems are servers and workstations at the top level of the industrial control network. The endpoint of all ICS controls and monitoring tie-in for business systems. These systems have broad visibility into the ICS environment, and it's often across multiple geographical regions. Lastly, business systems are corporate level services that use ICS operational data and telemetry for business applications, including billing, modeling, trending, and reporting. However, these are not considered part of the industrial control network. What does ICS SCADA security include? Many practices in ICS SCADA are the same and include asset inventory, vulnerability patch management, network intrusion protection and detection systems, endpoint detection and response, and user access management. So why is ICS SCADA so important? These systems are found everywhere in our society and play an important role in the basic things we see every day. They're in the water filtration plants and control the quality of water we drink. When you're driving on the street and see a traffic stoplight, ICS SCADA is the thing controlling those. In order for you to have electricity in your house, well, ICS SCADA is behind that too, and you wouldn't be able to watch this video without it. They not only control our convenience, but they're a matter of national security. The U.S. Department of Homeland Security lists 16 critical infrastructure sectors whose assets and functions are considered vital to the country's national economic security and public health and safety. They're the following. Chemical, commercial facilities, communications, critical manufacturing, dams, defense industrial base, emergency services, energy, financial services, food and agriculture, government facilities, healthcare and public health, information technology, nuclear reactors, materials and waste, transportation systems, and water and wastewater systems. All these categories rely heavily on industrial control systems and require them to monitor temperature, close breaks, regulate levels, and other various functions. Even vaccine production that is used around the globe requires batch control functions, and these companies use ICS SCADA to do so. Something going wrong or disrupting one of these functions might not only have a monetary impact on a company, but could result in serious injury or death, especially with explosive or toxic materials. And this is why they're such high value targets for cyber attacks by threat actors. This could be simply theft of intellectual property or even damage by a hostile nation. 
Imagine altering the chlorine in the water or shutting off a power grid and the things that could happen. From an attacker's standpoint, they could inflict the maximum level of disruption for a relatively low resource cost. A large portion of the population can be severely impacted by simply going after major utilities. Over one third of all ICS SCADA systems were targeted with attacks, and those were in the first half of 2021. This includes both financial losses, stolen data, and disruptions to society and human safety. The Colonial Pipeline breach showed how detrimental it could be. The organization chose to shut down the OT environment due to there being uncertainty whether it was infected. And the Operation Technology, or OT, wasn't even the target of the breach. We'll go into why this is significant with the challenges of OT security. Security Challenges of ICS and SCADA These machines operate in real time, and layers of security can potentially impede their performance, and they can't tolerate latency that's created by the security software in the background. Even though these machines have evolved over time significantly, there hasn't been as much attention to the security capabilities. There's a convergence of OT and IT, which leads to the exposure of industrial environments with decades old technology to the internet and to the cloud in order to improve business and operational efficiencies. Along comes new potential attack vectors into their industrial control systems. These systems weren't designed with the internet and security in mind, and now they're out there, vulnerable, making the most prevalent attacks in 2021 internet-based. There's no longer an air gap between OT and IT. It just really boils down to having a competitive advantage and having the ability to stay in the game and compete with other manufacturers. There's a huge possibility that the IT attack will spill over onto the OT side, ultimately causing trivial to life-threatening impacts. Gone are the days of the few, primarily nation states, with geopolitical motives. Now cyber criminals use these attacks to seek profit, and it doesn't seem to be getting any better with all of the security challenges OT infrastructure faces. Thanks for watching! Please give this video a like and leave any questions or suggestions down in the comment section below. Thanks!